Uh, today's jobs report finds that unemployment dropped last month to 8.6 percent. That's the lowest level in two and a half years. It's good news on its face, although much of that drop comes from people just giving up looking for jobs. Meanwhile, Americans continue to find all kinds of enterprising ways to make a buck. And tonight, we're going to look at the latest example, a startling solution right under our noses, collecting in jars, rattling in dryers, hiding in couches. Here's ABC's Neil Karlinski. Got any pennies today? All yeah. right. Well, we'd like to buy a bag, please. Okay. All right. You hardly need a penny for Joe Henry's thoughts. Frank, are these good ones? Yes. Any dimes in it? Nope. He's on a first-name basis with bank tellers across his hometown of Medford, Oregon, scouring 15 banks a week it. with one thing on his one mind. Thing. Let's go. Pennies. <laughs> Buying some, changing others back in for cash, it all seems a little weird. But he's no collector, and he's not alone. He's what's known as a penny hoarder. From the orange tubs that hold an astonishing 200,000 pennies in a shed next to his house, to the hours spent sorting through roll after roll, it's no joke, he's really into pennies. But not just any pennies, only those that are from 1982 or earlier, because those pennies aren't just spare change, they're made of copper. And get this, a copper penny is worth more than a penny. It's worth 2.4 cents. The copper has such a different sound than zinc pennies, too. Real money um, has a, a definite um, sound of money. And if you listen to a modern zinc penny, they don't sound the same. They sound sort of tinny. Here's the thing about copper, its price has been skyrocketing. Just look at this chart from the last few years. The rising price has led to some unusual crime sprees. Thieves have been exploiting the value hidden in obscure items, stripping the copper wiring from phone and utility cables, from construction sites, even this 122-year-old copper bell stolen from a San Francisco cathedral. In San Diego, so much copper wiring has been stolen from eight different city parks that soccer teams can't practice because the lights stopped working. Penny hoarders aren't thieves, just opportunists. Take a look at eBay and you'll find a slew of listings for pennies in bulk. And here's the amazing part. You'll see listings like this for $10 in pennies being sold for $20. If you think only a sucker would pay two cents for a penny, you're missing out on a business opportunity that a guy by the name of Adam Youngs has perfected. Approximately $100 is in this box. So this is $100 in pennies? Yes. But it doesn't cost $100 to buy this? It, How much does someone pay you for $100 in... For them, it's about $176 just for this box. So people are paying you $176 for $100 in pennies? Yes, sir. Young's runs a massive penny sorting operation. Locked inside a secure facility that deals with armored cars, sells and ships to clients in every state, and works in pennies by the ton. He has big money clients storing huge sacks of pennies and inquiries from hedge funds. What kind of money are we talking about? How much are you holding? Uh, just in face value alone, uh, about $270,000 right now. 270000 in pennies? Yes. Here? Yes. In bags like this? In bags like this. So that's just the face value. That's not even the copper value. The copper value is about three times that much. So You can't stop smiling about this. <laughs> no. Clients deal with Young's because he separates copper pennies from the chump change, the newer ones that are only worth a cent. But in the weird world of penny hoarding, getting to the copper is a very big problem. It's illegal to melt pennies. And just in case you were thinking of taking them to another country to turn your pocket change into copper, there's even an obscure law that makes it illegal to transport more than $5 in pennies out of the country. Really. Of course, the penny hoarders know this, but they know something else, too. In what could be the biggest legislation to hit the U.S. Mint in 50 years, Officials are now looking at the composition of pennies and nickels and considering an overhaul. So if they get rid of the penny, right. then you can melt your pennies. That's right. And then are you a wealthy man? Yes, sir. Which is why Joe Henry's 200,000 penny collection will only get bigger. He even has a $500 home counting machine to separate the copper ones. You put a penny in here as a sample one, and then when the penny drops through, it decides what if it's zinc or copper. To be sure, penny hoarders are another breed. 
but that doesn't mean they're wrong. If I had Enron stock, it's all worth nothing. If I had um, some dot-com stuff from years ago, worth nothing. These are still worth a penny. So it might seem odd or strange, but they're worth at least a penny and maybe someday a lot more. If the laws changed, a penny saved many times over could be a whole lot earned. I'm Neil Karlinski for Nightline in Portland, Oregon.